Hi, I'm Nick Cusimano of edtechfortheater.com. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use Google Forms and the Autocrat Google Apps Script by Andrew Stillman to grade and provide individualized feedback to your students on papers, projects, performances, and more. Create a Google Form. Be sure to include the student's Google Apps for Education email, their name, and the other information you feel you need. I used the text questions to collect student information and the scale questions so I could place a numerical score into the Google spreadsheet that's automatically linked with the Google form. Once you have completed grading all your students' projects using your Google form, you will need to create the template document that will be used to create all your individualized feedback. You will need to create a Google document that has the rubric in it and using carrots to designate the merge field where you want the information from the Google form slash spreadsheet to appear in the newly merged Google document. I have made the individualized information using a different color from the other parts of the rubric so the student will know their own individual score. Now we are ready to install the Autocraft Google Apps Script by Andrew Stillman. In the Google spreadsheet that is linked with your Google form, go to the tool menu, select script gallery, type in Autocrat into the search box, and then click install. Authorize the Google app script, and then click the close button. The Autocrat menu will appear on the spreadsheet. Click Run Initial Configuration. Step 1. Select the Google Document template containing the merge tags that you created earlier from your docs. Remember that this must be a document. The merge tags have no special characters and they do not begin with numbers. Step 2. Select Merge Data Source. Select which seed in your Google spreadsheet you want to use. Step 3. Set Merge Conditions. It's an optional choice. You can set up conditions that must be right for the merge to happen. Leave this blank for this particular use of Autocrat. It's useful when you use Autocrat to automatically send an email out when a form is filled out. Step 4. Set Field Mappings. This pulls the header titles from your Google Form slash spreadsheet. Use the pull-down menus to connect the merge tags to the columns that they should be linked with from your Google Form slash spreadsheet. Step 5. Set Merge Type. It's the list of variables you can include in the naming of the files and communication between you and the students. Be sure to keep the exact formatting, including the dollar sign and whether anything is capitalized or not. Save Merge File to Docs. This will allow you to archive feedback in case you need to discuss grade at a later date. Select the destination folder for your merge documents. This must be the same folder uh, that the spreadsheet is in. File naming convention to use. Must keep exact formatting including the dollar sign and whether any part of that is capitalized. Make sure to click Save Links to Merge Docs and Spreadsheet. Select Send Merge Files via email, so students will be notified when you have completed grading their project. Type in what you would like to appear in the email's subject line. 
type in a short note to recipients. Whatever you type in will appear in block formatting. Basically, no separated paragraphs. Choose attachment type. Recipient view only Google Doc, recipient editable Google Doc, or a PDF. For this instance, I would choose view only Google Doc or a PDF. Do not select Trigger Merge on Form Submit for this instance. Click Save Setting. Step 6. Preview Run Merge. You can choose Preview on First Only. I suggest using your own email for this so you can see how it will look to your students. Make any updates you need and then click Run Merge Now. Now you are complete. You have customizable, individualized feedback for your students without much effort.